What up guys, Shifty here, back to it again with another video and today I'm gonna share with you guys all of my McLaren P1 casting. In fact, I think these are all, no I think it's not, I think these are all of the McLaren P1 castings Hot Wheels has released so far. And it's not very common for me to actually have all of the variations of a particular castings, mainly because some are hard to find. But yeah, so far, there are no super treasure on McLaren P1s and whatnot. So yeah, I have all the main line and that one... Uh, Adult release right here with the rubber tires from the Cars and Donuts series. So let's take a look at all of them one by one. Starting with the yellow one. Check this out. So this is the yellow McLaren P1, uh, obviously. And I love the yellow color on this one. Very cool. It's one of the factory colors. Front and real light samples. Very nice. Mine does have some paint chip on it. And I think the yellow looks nice on this car. It looks pretty cool. The next we have the blue version right here. Uh, it does have like a darker blue to it. Maybe I'm not a big fan, doesn't really suit this car very well because the dark blue doesn't show the details of the car, the spoiler, the articulation and whatnot. But hey, I'll take it. Still not bad. Not bad. Then third, we have the one from the Dan and Now series from 27, in late 2017, the black and red version. And this one looks really weird because there is this car has two differences among the other cars right here. First of all, the wheels. If you take a look at all the mainline releases, they all have the 10 spoke wheels right here. But this one has the 5 star Hot Wheels spoke wheels. And second of all, the interior is red. Same thing for the cars right here in the mainline release. All of them have black interiors, but this one has a red interior. And because of that, the transparent roof can be much more easily seen. You can see the red interior and it looks really weird this way. But I still take it. It's alright. It's just really weird. You can see the interior. But if you have a black interior, like this mainline release right here, it's really hard to see. Uh, so yeah, this is just something I wanted to point out. Next, we have the silver version. And gray is not really my favorite color. I think most of you already know that. But it looks alright on this car. It's not bad, matches nicely with the silver wheels, silver car, gray car, and yes, some of you guys, oh man, whenever I say a car is gray, some of you correct me and say, oh no, Drifter, it's silver, I don't care. I'm just kidding, but uh, I don't think it's a big difference. Silver is a type of metal, so I don't really think silver is a color, so I don't care. This is a gray McLaren P1. <laughs> Alright, so next we have the McLaren P1, this is the first release, and when this first came out, uh, not all of people went crazy. This was released in 2014, back when scalpers here in Singapore, at the very least, wasn't that prominent yet. So I, it was really easy to find this casting. But oh boy, I, I think I predict that uh, all these cars right here, I think they're going to skyrocket in price the next few years. Look at what the, the Bugatti Veyron. The Bugatti Veyron is a cool exotic car. And I think this McLaren P1 too. I, I won't be surprised if this costs hundreds of dollars in the future. Because they are pretty cool casting, like this... Well, Volcano Orange. I mean, it's not really the Volcano Orange, the factory color of this car, but it's close to it. Looks really nice, this orange version. I think this is probably one of my favorites. Speaking of orange, we have this slightly reddish version of this. This is from the Forza Motorsport 6 car series, or 7, because of the chase piece. And this one's not bad. I love the decals on this one, like all the sponsors and whatnot. And when you come to the rear part right here, bam. Oh, wow. A lot of people, I think a lot of you guys even, when you saw the rear part, you all were like really shocked, including me. I didn't even know that this car didn't have real light temples. And the rear looks so weird because we're so used to seeing the mainline version have all real light temples. And then when we really, when you get the Forza version, it doesn't have real light temples. Oh wow, it was a shocker of my life. But other than the rear lacking uh, details, the car overall is still pretty cool, the Forza version. Last is the Cars and Donut version i think this needs no introduction because you guys are familiar with this and this one looks pretty cool it has like some tribal vinyl going on all over the car look at these black stripes right here on like tempos and it's really cool to have this in the uh, metal version metal and metal and rubber tires who doesn't like rubber tires? Everyone does. And same thing for this car. It doesn't have real light tempos. And when it was also released in the Cars and Donuts series, I was slightly disappointed. I mean, for premium price, I'm surprised that this car doesn't even have real light tempos. But uh, I guess there's not much I can do. Maybe I can customize. A lot of you, a lot of you guys are telling me like, Hey, Drifter, can you do a custom video? Well, the thing is, I'm not really sure how. Like, I, I know how, I know how, but I just don't really have the materials to do so, and let alone the time. Uh, I heard that customizing takes a lot of time and effort. I've seen reviewers uh, videos of customizing or uh, Racer Ryan in 86, and some of you guys, you have some custom channel videos. Oh boy, customizing takes a lot of time. So maybe for now, I'll leave the cars plain for these two cars, 
and if I have extras, maybe I can customize some real life temples for these bad boys right here. So again, once again, here are the cars, and as usual, for my all of my series, I'm going to rank them from best to worst. Alright, so um, my favorite among all of them has got to be the volcanic orange right here. So it's going to go to the left, followed by this yellow McLaren P1 right here. Then next is this, uh, okay, between the two, I think this one is my third favorite, followed by the Forza version, although it doesn't have real light samples, so this will be my fourth. Then this is also my fifth, love this one. And between the two cars, uh, I find the silver less appealing, so I put that last, and the blue one is sixth. Of course, when I rank these cars, it doesn't necessarily mean that this car sucks right here. I love all of them, it's just of course I find this the best. So how about you guys? Which of these McLaren P1s is your favorite? As usual, I read all of your comments, so be sure to comment down below which of these castings uh, is your favorite, or which one do you have or don't have so yeah just comment them down below before i end of the video i'm gonna do a special outro today i'm gonna do an outro that a car posts and more from instagram uh, made for me so yeah without further ado let's go head on to the outro card bam check it out pretty cool huh thanks once again dude for the outro card but anyways that's it guys for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys missed out my previous video click on the top right or another random video on the bottom right don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye